Hi guys, got a request from Don P to do a light powered fan. Now I assume he means something like a solar powered fan. Um, I'm going to do one, but to be honest it's not much of a challenge. It is if you try and think too much about it, but there is a simple option. If you're thinking about taking apart one of these solar um, garden lamps, then you're going to struggle because you don't get very much power out of one of these panels. You get about enough power to run one of these tiny little pager motors or vibrating toothbrush motors, which is where I get them from. This is one of those solar panels. Just um, sticking it on a bit blue tack so I can hold my light on it. see there, that's enough to make that tiny little motor run. If you want to run something like that size motor, you're never going to get enough power out of one of these little panels. You need something, in this case you need something like 9 volts to run it. So, one of those little solar panels is really a non-starter if you're thinking of running a decent sized electric motor. You really want something getting on for this size. And the easy option is one of these. It's a slightly larger solar panel and it's got an electric motor with it which is designed to work with that panel or the panel is designed to work with that electric motor. So I'll clear a space and show you. Let's take these out of the way. Got these from my bargain store for under a pound. There's our solar panel and our electric motor. And what it's designed to do is spin round a little butterfly or in this case a dragonfly just to make it look pretty. But that motor works well with that panel. So we want to make a fan with it. If I take this cheap handheld fan and pull the fan off it and put it on there, it won't fit straight because that shaft's a little bit smaller so I'm going to have to either put a hot, bit of hot glue on it or a bit of um, tape around it just to make it a bit bigger. But I can fit that straight on there and run it off that panel. So that's what I'll do. Right, I've put a little extension shaft into there, a piece of uh, plastic insulation off of a piece of power cable on there to join the two together. So I'll just slide that on there. It's not the best way to do it because it's unbalanced and it's going to rock around a bit. But for demonstration purposes There we go. A light powered fan. It's not giving a lot of wind, <laughs> but it does work. So there you go. A very simple solar powered fan. For practical purposes, what I would do is extend the wires from the back of that solar panel so that you can have the solar panel in the window catching the sunlight and the actual fan um, next to you wherever you're sitting. <laughs> it's not going to do a lot for you, but 
that does actually meet the criteria of the challenge. A light powered fan. And that's the easy way to do it. Without getting all complicated with electrical circuitry and capacitors and resistors and all sorts. That works.